little door hanger here. This Macon County woman claims a local electric cooperative wrongfully shut off her electricity. We wouldn't disconnect someone who had never had a penalty. But Christina Yaden is not buying it. Christina did admit she fell a little behind on her electric bill because she was unemployed most of last year. And I've tried to pay them everything I could pay them. And they still try to come shut you off. She tells me she tried to pay anywhere from 40 to $65 every time she got paid. Um, I can't pay my, my bank payment. I can't pay my water bill. Um, I can't buy food. I can't fix my car because they get everything. So I contacted Macon Electric Cooperative myself. Yes, this is Justin with KTVL News. I have a question for you. We are um, a cooperative, which means that we're a member-owned utility. And so we try to do everything that we can um, to, to help people. And we obviously don't want to put anybody in danger or put them in a, in a situation that would put them at risk or their family at risk. But still, I wanted to find out how they generally go about handling delinquent or past due bills. So if, if a bill does become a delinquent, then we would send someone out to collect that past due amount. And if the member is unable to pay the past due amount, then it would be at that point in time that they, you know, could be disconnected. Moen tells me they ask all their members who are encountering some issues with paying their bills to just stay in contact with them. That's what I want to know is how they say they're helping because they've never offered me any assistance. None. At all. None. However, after looking on their website and speaking with the Macon Co-op representative, they do in fact offer assistance. It's a program called Care and Share. And the program offers individuals and households facing difficult financial situations emergency energy assistance. Our mission is to provide excellent service to our members in the most efficient manner possible. So we have to um, be sure that we're taking care of the whole of our membership. Christina tells me if Macon Electric Cooperative would just take off their fees, then she would be okay. We go out to do a collection. The member is made aware at that time of what what the fees will be for for us coming out to collect or disconnect. And Macon Co-op says they even send out letters to warn their members of any charges or fees that they owe. I have never received a separate letter. Never. Never. Never.